You know that sounds pretty good. I'll, we'll go for it. <laughs> exactly. It's like in board. Was that? Are we still come back alive? Hey, can we bring a character yeah. back? Oh yeah, sure. Bring back whoever. I don't care. <laughs> Freaking bring back Karama inside yeah. Himawari. Like, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's like that's the thing too is like what I will say for the the Naruto universe, and Boruto included. Uh, what <laughs> what the writing style did for me, it made me had to learn to really do some gy- mental gymnastics, like for the first time, because there were some stuff that was happening in the war arc and even in the Boruto era that I'm like, I'm really had to like think back for a second. I'm like, you know what? Like, okay, let me, I, I got to think about this for a second and then mentally digest it in order for it to make sense to me. The DMS Kakashi is a ver- verbatim, like a, a, a situation that, that even though I loved it when I first read it, I remember putting down the, the, my phone because I was reading it from the manga app, whatever. I remember putting down my phone after the chapter was done, thinking like, "How in the world did that happen?" Like, I don't. <laughs> as cool as it is, like, how that shouldn't have happened. And so, like, I really had to like start thinking about it. And so, like, it's the same thing with Borto. You know, it's like th- I'm thinking like, okay, this this is all really cool. The Kuruma thing, like Kuruma thing, perfect example. Oh, this is awesome. But how in, how did that happen? That, that's not that's not how it should be. So. That's that was again, something just I, explained badly, too. No offense to Boruto, but Chapter 67 is my go-to. But Momoshiki says about Boruto being a full at Suski just doesn't make sense. You, you can mental gymnastic it. I accept it. But it just does not make sense, the way it's explained. Yeah, yeah that's what... And that's why, like, I, you know, go back... Not to sound redundant, but that's, like, going back to what I was saying earlier. It's like, I'm really hoping that at some point after this chaos in the, in the first few chapters that's going on right now, when it, settled, when it settles down to, like, you know you know, uh, a stopping point or a slow, slow point, we get like some exposition, you know, and I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest fan of ex- exposition dumps because they all come out of nowhere, but they're done right. They're done right. Per- case in point, the Itachi twist, like that was a expedition dump from another character to on about another character. And it worked like it, it, it was done flawlessly. So it's like one of those things, like I hope that the information that we're given now is presented the, a clear explanation of how, these events happen and how they got here so when it comes to exposition dumps there's a couple of like key things and no offense to borto they screw up one of these badly so the first thing is it should be new information borto has done this over and over again when they do these exposition dumps it's 80 percent recap and then one or two sentences of new information that is not how you want to do an exposition dump. Yeah. They've done this several times. Go to Boruto chapter 73. 50% of it, at least, is information we already know. And then in a lot of these recent chapters, they just keep saying some of the same stuff over and over again. Like, it yeah. needs to be new information. And don't and get me wrong, really... like, I like a freaking WTF moment. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I love like when moments like that like just completely drop and then just leave your mind, leave your jaw on the floor. I like it. But like you said, needs to be some explanation from it. And I get it. Like what's going on now, people don't have time to just stay and talk about you know what's happening and like how this happened, this and that. So I get it. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm hoping at some point, you know, we'll we'll get that. If they didn't explain Karama being in Himawari. <laughs> That would be ridiculous, like beyond ridiculous. We should get an explanation. I think it's just going to be a matter of whether it's satisfying if it actually makes sense. I think there's plenty of ways they can do it that make perfectly fine sense. It depends on what they pick and whether or not they pick something stupid. Oh, that's sure my only will. concern is that they'll pick the worst explanation possible. Now, Kamui seems to be more on board with it than I am because I've already decided there's no explanation they can do that's going to make sense to me. No matter what, I'm just not going to like it because I've already thought about every explanation they could possibly give. And there's just not one that I completely agree with. There's some that I like more than others, but obviously there's not a lot. And even Kamui well, is like, oh, like- if, if she gets KCM, I'm not going to be happy about it. Like, if she gets KCM, I'm freaking dropping the series, bro. 